ladies and hello gentlemen. The time has finally come for me to go to Gates Laboratory. There I am going to freaking destroy everything that moves, or even thinks about trying to come after yours truly. Well, almost everything, even if they look at me the wrong way. <laughs> yes, destroying things are so much fun. You guys should try it. You guys will love it and thank me for it. Well, you guys might notice I can equip four parts now instead of three, thanks to Dynamo and his delicious nightmare sauce that went yummy in my tummy. Dynamo will be greatly missed. I really did enjoy kicking his behind despite me complaining about fighting him over and over and over and over and over again. Well, enough of that. It is time to go to Gates Laboratory, and we will be I will be going there at zero, because I want to. I am the boss, and Zero's the man. Uh, the Red Plug. The Red Plug with the side and the women's. X uses a side too, but it's Zero's side. He keeps stealing it from him, but he, Zero, gets it back each time. Also, X has no women. And here we are, on a Thursday night, standing outside Gates Laboratory. Getting ready to go to war. Are you ready, Zero? Hooray, Zero, hurry, before he knows that we are here. But so far, we see nothing. No sign of nightmares or any other criminal activities. But what is this? A giant-sized hole. Big enough for big oaths like Runny Turk Lord, High Max, and Big U to fit through. I just say that, Zero. Do not start with me. Today's not the day. Yes, the lab is down there. He wants us to go to him instead of coming to us. That is cool. I am down with that. We will destroy everything that crosses our path. Our path to victory! And darkness does not scare me anymore. Darkness fears me! Now let's go, Zero. There's no turning back. Oh, look at the intimidating statue. I do not fear it. Too bad we cannot destroy it, so we will destroy the doggies. Instead. Oh, this part is so much easier to do with Zero and X and Shadow and Blade Armor. As Falcon Armor and Naked X, you can just use the Ice Burst weapon and the Jumper parts to get through this area. Now that is done. Ah, will you stop with the firing and laser nonsense? We do not have time for that. Or you bats. Why do you bats have to be in almost every video game that is a platform or RPG? Why, oh, tell me, why, oh, God mighty, why? Huh? What the, what did I say just now? Ah, forget it. Let's forget it. Ah, you little stupid laser, you just hit me in the back of the head. But, I cannot do nothing about it. I cannot destroy you lasers. But I can't destroy you guys. <laughs> Zero, destroy, destroy everything, everything that attacks, everything that doesn't fire, I laser. Destroy that doggy too, <laughs> ouch, that hurt, you shot me in the back of the head again, stupid lasers. I do not like that, but we cannot do anything about it. Zero, look, it's lethal hot sauce, what shall we do? We jump over that lethal sauce that looks like lava, but it's really not. It's Louisiana hot sauce, the best hot sauce in the world. It goes great on country fried chicken and Mexican food. Ah, oh, no. It's back with a vengeance. We must not let the hot sauce swallow us. Never fear. It does not reach us, though. Now we must climb slowly and... What in tarnations? How are the doggies able to withstand the lethalness, the spiciness of the Louisiana hot sauce? A logical moment. Shouldn't the ice be melting? Should it? Why is it not? Dude. That is so total BS. The doggies are immune to the hot sauce, but Zero is not. The hot sauce should at least give them the runs. And ouch, Zero got hit by doggy breath. Whoa, I meant icy doggy breath. We must be very careful. There are spikes in this area as well. In fact, we must be careful in this level. And the stage at the woods. And it is time for the boss fight. And uh... Oh boy. 
we got to fight these two giant chunks of nightmare DNA. One or two of the hardest bosses in the game. And I'm going to try to kill these things ASAP. And their weakness is, is a metal sharp play ice technique. Raku Kojin. And here they go, flying, going around. And sometimes they shoot stuff out like that. And ouch, I got hit. Now I'm going to use the guard shell along with Raku Kojin. And we attack like crazy. Don't care if I get hit. Wait, I'm not finished destroying you. Hey. What the heck? Why didn't you jump, Zero? Oh well. Ah, both of these things look like my 6th grade science project that I got a B minus song, which made me angry. I told the teacher I deserve an A. But you know what? She did not give me an A. You know what, she, what else she gave me along with that B minus? Ah! She gave me detention! And yes, I'm using the life recovery. But yeah, she gave me detention! Ah, I hated detention. Sitting there for like an hour doing nothing. He drove me nuts. Well, enough of my little story. I would tell more stories, but these things keep running to me like they own me, like I'm a two dollar hooker. No one owns me, and I just own them. <laughs> it is mine and mine alone. Oh yeah, it's yours too, Zero. Forgot about you. Sorry, man. Alright, let me see. What time is it? Ah, it's 7.55. Oh, 7.35, my bad. Alright, that's one stage down and two to go. And I am going to... What the heavens? Well, I thought I was going to stop the video after the fight, but I forgot about this. So let's see what Mr. I Have a Chip on My Shoulder has to say. I wanted to keep silence on this, but I will reveal the secret to you. To be honest, I didn't get here on my ability alone. You didn't? Hey, is that, the, is that that bomb? I got something. It was a blessing. Oh, it looks like a bomb to me. Guess what I got? I thought it was junk at first. I thought it was a bomb. It was a piece of your body. Zero, I obtained your DNA data. Huh? You did? It couldn't be analyzed. I tried using the, the latest technology. What? You use my DNA? Calm down, Zero. Calm down. Your DNA was just fabulous. It made Hymax and the Nightmare easy. Easy as macaroni and cheese. I couldn't contain my excitement. I can now create perfect and the strongest reploids. But, it couldn't match the original after all. Of course it could not. I couldn't analyze it completely. Because you're an idiot. How dare you! I said calm down, Zero. Delete the nightmare virus now! It's too dangerous! It will be your undoing! <laughs> How strange. You're usually so calm. Don't worry. I had enough experiments using low reploids. And. That used a virus from your DNA. What I should do now is destroy the dis disgusting original body. I'll destroy your evil ambition, Gate! Yeah, I'm sorry about my voice acting. I guess my voice is just getting tired from talking too much. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm gonna stop the video here. And thank you for watching. I'm USK1589 and. Bye bye. Hello, peoples. I am back and about to get ready to go through the hardest level in the game. But first, let me equip the parts that I will need to get through the stage. 
And hopefully I will not screw up in this stage. I think the last time I died was in the showdown stage. So let's keep it that way. Yes. And we'll be going through this stage as Shadow Armor X. The Ninja Armor. Because he has it the easiest going through this stage in my honest opinion. I think I might do another video of going through this stage as Naked X. I know death. Yes, we are ready. Let's do this. Ah, <laughs> I'm too fast. Too fast, my yo. Ninjas are supposed to be fast. Don't even bother going to the left because it's just a blasted dead end. So one thing about this level is a lot of it has bad level design. And these guys are back, and there are a whole bunch of them. And ooh, I see life. And I will need that for sure. <laughs> That's what you get for coming after me. More Nightmare Junkies. And the word for today is destroy. My new favorite word of this thing. All oh, these totem poles are back. And dang it, I was too low. I wasn't able to destroy it. That top head thingy. Ah! Gotcha. No, no, you don't try to sneak up on me. One thing about these two stages is that they reuse elements from some of the investigator stages, like the totem poles and the hot sauce from the last level, except he wasn't. Hot sauce, it was grape soda. Yeah. Trying to creep up on me. Trying to double team me. Ah, another one of you, Storm Albert Dingies. Now, this part is difficult to pass without the shadow armor. And now we're about to do battle for the third and final time with High Mox. Time for your revenge, X. He made you look like a fool at one time, remember X? At the, at the junkyard? Now it's time to make him look like a fool. I own for life, fool, and here he comes. I'm back. Not the wise, I surpass you. There's no chance for me to lose. Are you still babbling about nonsense like that? I just have to win. Yes, we must win. For the safety of planet Earth, we must and we will. Hi-Max is so easy to own as X and the Shadow Ama. Just stand in front of his force field and hit him with a charge attack. Smack him right in the face, sending him crashing down to the ground. See? Like that. And are you calling me a fool, you fool? You're the fool. Keeps on spamming the same attacks. You're getting schooled. See? You can't do crap. And hopefully, you won't do that one attack where he goes to the center and starts shooting some giant energy balls up. And those hurt like hell if you get hit. What the? What is this? This fool? What does it mean? Death ball thingy? Oh, I know what it means. You got owned. And no more, I be back. Alrighty then, High Max is dead, and Gate is next. And I guess Isaac is somewhere wiping behinds with his head and chin, so he's too busy to fight. So we'll just leave him alone. Time for part two. I don't know why they didn't just make this a separate stage, but I'm not complaining. Just saying and thinking. And oh, the rolling balls have returned, trying to fatten us to pancakes. Pancake. Now, X, into the portal. That is in order. Sumo Joes, you guys want to play patty cake? Well, too bad. We're going to play drop dead. Now drop dead, 
Hey, you're supposed to drop dead. Ah, oh, there you go. You drop dead. And you drop dead. And you can just, well, drop dead. No! It's raining. Nightmare rain. Make it stop. Oh, good. I hate nightmare rain. In order to clear this jump as naked and shadow on my X, you'll need the jumper. Ooh, I made it. The jumper and hyper dash parts. If you don't have those, you're screwed. So make sure you have those two parts. And ooh, life machine. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. You go, you'll go through a different area. The second part of this stage, if you're zero. It's similar to Metal Shot Playoff Stage. With the, the crushing ceiling. Ouch. Sumo, that was not nice. That was, ah, you did it again. That is uncalled for. Destroy this machine and we're out of here. No more rain for the remainder of the game. Ah, stupid birds. I always get hit by them. Ah, I only got hit once. I usually get hit all the time. But it's time for gate. Time has come in. Oh, darkness. But I, I am not afraid of darkness anymore. You forget. I love darkness. I thrive in the darkness. <laughs> darkness is my friend and you're not gate. Death's your fate. Impressive, all of my replicas have already been destroyed. I confess that I have nothing to use. Oh, what about that bomb? Oh, that's right, that's that was Zero's DNA. I keep forgetting. I have one more experiment I like to perform. Stop! You are making a big mistake. But you know that, don't you? Who cares? I always wanted to analyze you. Come on, X! Cool pose. Now he looks like Zero's brother. And that's the key to defeating Gate. You cannot attack him directly. And he likes to chase you all over the room. Like this is a game of cat and mouse. But it's not. It's Mega Man X6. And these orbs have different effects. The blue ones try to suck you into it. The green ones follow after you. And the orange ones, I think they shoot projectiles at you. I think so. Uh, yeah, they do. The purple ones create those nightmare goons. And I'm not gonna. Yeah, I wanna destroy it because uh, I don't want them coming out. Ah! The worst ones of them all is the red one, which can slow you down and mess up the controls, makes the controls unresponsive. Dang, I hate when he does that. There we go again. Three of those out. Now he's gonna try to perform that, that slash that destroys the platforms, but they do come back, so don't worry. Why did I do that? Oh, get away. Dang it. I had a good thing I stayed onto the wall because if I did not, I probably would have failed. Ah! That almost got me. Surprised he, he hasn't done that one attack yet. Oh, he spoke too soon, he got to me. Gotta get away. I said get away from me. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. And I'm, I'm doing horrible now. It's probably best I shut up. Thank you, you are annoying. 
but your song is awesome. But sadly, it must end. The song and the, this fight must end in the next minute or so. Ah, you're about to die. Time for a life recovery. One more hit and Gate is good as done. What are you waiting for? Ah! You're too slow. I said you're too slow, Gate. Enough of this ridiculous game of cat and mouse. It's time for a game of Drop Dead. No, Drop Dead Fly, for I have won this game. Ah, that's a good thing that wasn't an energy tank that I used, or that would have been wasted. There's Gate. What the? He just disappeared, and so did X. And this Ada disappeared into the darkness. And there's Gate. And he's, so he's sort of like Zero, but I guess it's because he used Zero's DNA. I lost even though I used Zero's DNA. No. <coughs> I should have <coughs> analyzed it more. What was there a fault in the program? Yes, it was. It was a fault. And it was also your fault because you're stupid. But <coughs> there, there's, this is not the end. I, I can't uh, get up so easily. Yes, you can. Let go let's die. I prepare for this just in case. Haha. <laughs> I really don't want to use this. Why not? You scared? I might be destroyed as well, but I brought back the evil Sigma. Oh, please. I did not die, nor did I need your help. Now get lost, loser. Oh god, he sounds like a cat dying. Wait a minute, we just finished a game of cat and mouse. A game that was full of wind for yours truly. Man, I am so awesome at, at cat and mouse and drop dead. Tremor with terror, you are finished. Prepare to become space dust! Yeah, I try to sound like the signal for Mega Man X4. But he hasn't been restored perfectly. I gotta go now. Yes, we must. What the? Why Why is Mr. Toilet Rollhead just laying there like that? And there's Alice. That's Isak's body. It, it just broke down. Huh? So that's what happened to him? I thought he was wiping bots. And he just passed out. But I know what really happened. He's really Dr. Wowie. And he just he didn't need that body anymore, so he just bailed. And we're about to do the same. Well, that's it for this video. And in the next, we will be going at the Sigma. And I would like to thank all of you for watching. See you later. What is up, people? This is part 25, and thank God it is almost over. We just gotta beat up the investigators again and defeat Sigma, who always comes back. He is just as persistent as Dynamo. Well, I flipped the coin to see who I'll use in this final stage, and yes, Zero won the coin toss. Because he is awesome and because he has a sword. So, Zero, let's go and end this nonsense. Zero, after this, we can rest and you can go out to your mini women's. Until next week, we got to fight the Mavericks again. Ready? Creepy music. Cool creepy music. We like cool creepy music. What about you, Zero? Alright, alright, no more joking around. Must hurry to beat the eight investigators within 10 minutes. And all these things again, they are so annoying. Ah. Oh shoot, I forgot to, I wanted to know what was over there. Or just a dead end. And Zero, use your hyper slash technique on the investigators to make their deaths quick and painless. Do it, Zero. Use your technique that is the mightiest side technique ever. Show them you are the mightiest side master. 
And there is Commander Yanmark, that Power Ranger master that thing who sounds like Ken from Street Fighter. <laughs> 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 Someone only in the house. Like, well, you get the point. Zero. Who will be your next victim to fall to the awesomeness, ultraness, hyperness that is the hyper slash technique? Almost nothing can beat it. Not even the Falcon Punch can stop it. Not even Blizzard Wolfgang, Wolfgang, whatever the heck his name's supposed to be. I'll call him Pluto because I feel like it. Ah, oh, now it's dark again, but remember, I am not afraid of the darkness anymore. That trick will not work on me. Get him! Make him big like the dog he is. Yes, just keep on doing that. Now finish him! No more Pluto. Zero, you are truly the shiznit. So awesome. You and your side. One quick question, Zero. Will you use this technique on Sigma, or do you want a challenge? Oh, no answer? Oh, I see. Now, who you about to fight now? Ah, the KFC chicken. The one that X stole from me. That was supposed to be my dinner. Well, this time, here's my dinner, and not yours, Zero. Well, we're we'll, we'll split it together. Just because you're so awesome. The grape soda that is lethal has returned, or is that purple hot sauce? Anyway, it's lethal. And what? He is swimming in it, like he's the shiznit. Zero, only you can be the shiznit. Hey, he disappeared. What? Why did the grape soda go away and then come back like that? Make up your mind, grape soda. Yes, it has a mind of its own. If it wanted to, it could swallow Zero up. And oh crap, this attack. Ah! See the whoa! That 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 soda that disappeared again. Well, we shouldn't be worrying about that though. Should be worried about him flying around like a chicken with his head cut off. Well, minus the head cut off part. And the soda is back, and he is swimming in it again. Now finish him, Zero. We have other Mavericks to destroy. Dang! It takes forever to kill this son of a chicken. But now he is done like KFC chicken. I got my chicken, and yes, Zero, you can have some of it. After we defeat Sigma. Quickly, into the next portal. Okay, who is up next? Oh, I know who it is. It's Metal Shark Player, your so-called rival with the women's. A shark who is a player who plays with junk and loves women with the junk in the trunk. And he likes to say, ah, in bed with the women. Junk in the trunk. And ah, look at him. Him and his junk. What a junkie. And now he's pissed. And let's go. We mock him. I thought we could destroy this, but I guess we cannot. Hey, player, player, let me holler at you, player. Time for you to go on the disabled list. Or better yet, retire. The Zero's the new player in town. Ah, now he's calling Sonic Posse to get us. That ain't right, player, player. Well, bye bye, player, player. We holla. Or better yet, we won't holla. Now, Zero, you will have all the women's with no doubt. Alright, we're halfway there, Zero. Let's continue. Let's grab these. And I believe the next one is that idiot that rolls a rock around saying unpleasant things to us. Oh, I am so right. I can tell because of those things in the, in the background. So that's the other three is left is the Blastos, the Flea, and that Clam Guy dude. And there he goes again, all that rock around. Like whatever. Just talk to the hand. Or in Zero's case, talk to the side. <laughs> now he's crying because we made fun of him. But like it's not our fault that you're so weak, stupid, and so sus. Get a life. 
Well, it's a little bit too late for that. Well, Zero, that's Investigator, Maverick, the regular guy, whatever, number five. There's three more, and Sigma is next. Man, this is so easy. They should have paired up together and instead of fighting, fighting you one on one. Makes more sense. I guess they don't like each other. And they probably don't believe in teamwork. But with teamwork, you, you can succeed in almost anything. And now oh, it's Rainy Blastoise, I mean Turt Lord. We got to own them all, Zero. Do it. You did it! You made turtle soup out of him in like five seconds. You are truly the shiznit. Now only two remains. The clam man guy dude thingy and the flay. And it's like we're doing good on time. Because I am awesome and zeros the shiznit. Oh, you beat it, warning sign. It's time for more homage. Thank you and F you. Oh, Zero drop stabs you in the head. Oh, they got the hurt. What the heck? I should have hurt you. Stay here. Alright. You know what, Zero? This is my least favorite boss fight music in the X series. You know what my favorite one is? Well, it's actually two. It's a toss up between Mega Man X4 and X5. You're finished. Now only the flay is left. It is I, the tip. That was an awesome show back then. I think they they made a game for that, a game of that on the uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The flea sort of remind me of the tick for some reason. Part of flea that is in the Africa. Come out. Bubbles! Oh, I forget it's the flea guy. Time for the guard shell. The shell they guard. And why didn't they just call it the guard shield? Ah, uh, whatever. They just own this clown. Ah, get away from Zero, you blobs and you fleas. He has no insurance for his weapons. Slash everything, Zero. And we must not let him rain on our parade with his ray arrows and blobs and fleas and other crap. Now come down here. Quit hiding behind your little flea friend, your clones. I was slashing the wrong one. <laughs> oh well, I got, got the right one at the end though. That's all eight of them. Well, people, we're almost there. And here's Sigma's little hideout. Let's go do this, Zero. Let's take care of this once and for all. And the first enemy is him. And there's more of them. Destroy, destroy them all, Zero. And this will be the last time we see these lucid junkie guys. Ah. Take that. Ninja Crush by the wind. Or get a strike or whatever you want to call it. And Sumo! That'll be the last time we see you and these pets. Well, I do not know about the pets. You might see them in another Mega Man X game. And that thing too. And dang, Sigma throw almost every enemy at us. Every enemy in the game. Almost every enemy. But they all fall to Zero's mighty side techniques. Because he is the Oh. I am so not gonna try to get that. I 
have died since we shut on stage. And I'm not gonna die here. No, no, no. Take the hit from Sumo, because I know there's spikes over there. And what the heck? I cannot get in the door. Why? Oh, here we go. That was strange. But anyway, it's time for Sigma. Warning, warning, an alcoholic is about to appear. Get your weapons ready, Zero. He is very hostile and intoxicated. What? He just dropped out of nowhere. Is he dead? What the? That sucks. That would have been an easy win if he was dead. <coughs> is it X or Zero? No, it's your mama and she says get off that alcohol, boy. Who cares? Just leave. Well, your mama cares. Silence. Such a pitiful reploid. I still be able to destroy you. We'll put you out of your misery. Like most of the other first form Sigmas in the other X games, he is a pushover. The so called drunken master is weak to play out play out technique. Hype by slash time. And dang it, I suck. It. I used to be real good at it. Hey, you cheap drunk! You cheap shot at me! And I'm surprised they didn't do that attack with the giant shield that you could push back by attacking it. And Sigma's first form is gone. And you know, Sigma always has another form. Except for, uh, I think in Mega Man X8, he only had one form. Cool darkness. And now he is yelling stuff at us for no reason. And it's all because of the alcohol. I show you what everybody And we show you the door to rehab and being home. K thanks by you think drunk. Yeah, mine is gone. That's what happened to you when you you have a blood alcohol level of zero point zero nine and higher. Good thing I don't drink. And kids, do not drink, because you'll end up like that. Terminator! He killed Sigma! Wait, that is Sigma. How silly of me. Well, let's, let's do this. You can easily kill Sigma in like 30 seconds. But... We're just gonna fool around a little bit and listen to this awesome track. And that is supposed to be his real weakness, but you are better off using the guard shell along with jump slashes. Ah. Oh, this track is so awesome. Ouch. Ah, you're shooting out your little jello. The jello that went bad. You know, Sigma, you can stop this madness and start a career with your jello. You can be the next Bill Cosby. And like I said, we can kill him pretty quick. But that would be too easy. Plus, we want to listen to this song. That is a remix of Mega Man X1 and X2 Sigma fights. For the first Sigma fight in X1. Both of the fights from X2. You lost, Sigma. It's your slash. It is your slash. Yes, it is for you. Always oh, coming at the X0. You can't be big and big so easily. You know you can't be alone. Yes, Amen Zero. Yes, shut up. Just shut up and die, you dang drunk. And do not come back. And we'll be waiting for you too if you do come back. That is a drunk. Yes, you are. They all say that. Don't come back. And shoot, he will come back. He always comes back. He's like a cockroach and Dynamo combined. You know I wouldn't be surprised if Dynamo was Sigma's son. And Zero, we have done it. 
I couldn't have asked for a better teammate. Now you can go home and hang out with your women's. I just gonna go get ready for work. Ah, uh, this cutscene doesn't make any sense. He goes to sleep for over a hundred years, and I'm thinking this cutscene takes place sometime at the Mega Man X8 and Command Mission leading to the F Wars. And if you want to know a little bit about that, play the Mega Man Zero games. But this is just a guess since they screwed up the story in the series, in the Mega Man X series. What they need to do is make a Mega Man X9 to explain this F War nonsense. So I'm just I'm just gonna leave it at that. But one question though is who is that scientist dude? Is he the famous cool green biker dude in disguise? Wait, it is him! Awesome! The green biker dude has returned as the mysterious scientist dude. He didn't really die in that car crash or that bike accident in Mega Man X2. He is so awesome, but sadly he is not the shiznit. Only Zero can be the shiznit. Well, biker, uh, I meant scientist dude. You still get points for surviving that crash. You will never wake up, Zero. You will be having nightmares of Sigma, Dr. Wawi, Izak, Iris, and Freddy Krueger. Nah, I'm just joking. Supposedly 102 years. August 15th. August the 15th. That's five more days before my sister's birthday. Good night, Zero. And oh yeah. One more thing. Do not let the bed bugs bite. Well, well, well. That is all, folks. Just the credits. And a great anime like song. A great anime like song that makes me want to get up and sing and dance to. Should I get up and sing and dance for you guys? Let me think for a couple seconds. Um, nope. Sorry. Will not happen. I cannot. I do not have my webcam with me right now. So, I cannot show you my moves. Maybe I'll do a video of my singing and dancing skills in the future. Then I'll be on Dancing with the Stars and on American Idol flirting with Paula and that other lady and making Simon Cowell very angry. Making him say stuff like, You got awful suck. And you are a poor excuse for talent. And Simon, you are a douchebag. Go bugger off. Yes. But yes, this song is so great. I can dance to it all day long. It is so great. Now I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna play it in my car and turn the volume up real loud. And play it loud and proud. Well, enough of that. I really enjoy playing this game. A pain in the butt, but very fun, fun indeed. That is one thing I love about video games. This is not really a bad X game in my opinion, but it is compared to other X games. Thanks to the bad level design, the way you got to activate some of Zero's techniques and the difficult, which I really, really didn't mind. Well, after this, I am going to upload these other games that I did while doing this game, along with another Mega Man X game, which is one of my favorite X games of all time. And I know there are like over 9,000 videos of this game on YouTube, but who cares? It won't hurt to put like 15 more of them. And oh god, Hi Max, you got to ruin everything. Go away and don't come back. And you too, Toilet Rollhead. I'm not gonna let you two ruin my speech. You know I ruin yours, Toilet Rollhead. There's a difference. You look ridiculous. I don't. And I speak sense. Well, most of the time I do. Yo, come on, isn't it about time to change pictures? I am tired looking at this clown. Change now. Thank you. Aw oh, yeah, this this picture's from Exit. Hey, what the heck? Where is my name? My name my name should be on here for doing some of these voices. Oh, that is so full of bull poop. 